Well, we are yeah. back in the kitchen with Kazuki Ramen and Izakaya. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a roommate right after college in New York City, mm-hmm. and we went out to eat Japanese food, mm-hmm. and I did not know how to use chopsticks. Okay. And he was so embarrassed <laughs> because I, I, and so he taught me how to use chopsticks, and now I'm. I can proficient? Do that. Well, I'm I don't pro- know if I'm proficient. I, I'm okay. Well, I asked yeah. that. I said, "Now, do you eat ramen with a fork or a spoon?" And he said, "Chopsticks." Chopsticks. <laughs> I'm not chopsticks. great at it, but I'll try it. But George, you go on. Talk amongst yourselves here. Um, so let's let, let's oh. talk about what we have made here and what what Carrie is diving into. Yeah. So um, this mm. is the uh, veggie ramen. Um, all the ingredients are basically on the table there. That will be. Okay. We this use. is going to be embarrassing, America. <laughs> and we made the broth as well. Uh, if you guys want to. Get a taste of that as mm, well. Mm. Yeah, and Carrie, Carrie already put some of the broth on the ramen. Yeah. Um, yes. um, and wow, that is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we and also the make it, uh, the broth is vegan. So for those who prefer, you know, the vegan option, you can always uh, request to substitute to our vegan noodle as well. Uh-huh. Then awesome. it will be 100% vegan. Oh, that's great. So yeah. vegan noodle, but also, also gluten free. Free. Yes. That's what we were talking about. Ramen is not gluten free, but there are ramen gluten free noodles, noodles right. that are made out of tofu. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Well, and, and we've established that this is all really, really yummy. Uh, <laughs> and but, healthy. But it's all, right, but it's also very healthy. Yeah, uh, yes, of course. So. It is a very healthy option. Mm-hmm. This is cold and flu season on a stick right oh, here. Yeah. This will cure you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just think so. Mm-hmm. She's not yeah. a doctor, but, <laughs> but we think she's really smart. I am. Uh-huh. <laughs> not bad. Yeah. Um, so um, tell us about the vibe at the restaurant and, and what we will encounter if we, if we come out there. To, you're, you're near Clay Terrace mm-hmm. uh, on 146th Street. How long have you been there, Cindy? We have been there for more than six years. How is that okay. possible? Wow. I yes. feel like you guys just opened. It was a big deal when you guys opened. Everybody <laughs> was excited. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to have ramen here in the city, yeah. and it's so good. So when we come into the restaurant, is it traditional Japanese? So when you come in, of course, we will greet you in Japanese. Irashaimase. Wow, oh, oh, nice. Okay. means welcome. And if you are leaving, we'll also greet you. Arigato gozaimasu. Mm-hmm. Oh, how nice. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we try to create like a Japanese ambience for the customer. Yeah. Full like, bar, full uh, wine, beer, sake. We have beer and wine and sake. And oh, yeah. so, are, do you do the wooden box with the sake? You know, the, oh, no, a lot of not. people don't do it post COVID because they, you right. know, but I love the traditions oh. of sake and how when you pour the sake, like I should always pour for my husband the sake, the, you know, and it's a blessing if it spills over. Is that, is that right? Um, like if your sake spills over on the dish? I'm not thought, sure, but it sounds right to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know that uh, a lot of times, like when you pour sake, it's like, the oldest pours for the, uh, yes. the youngest and stuff like that. Oh, well, then I said it, he should pour for me. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, you're both going to have a good time. <laughs> that's right. No, that's right. Uh, and we were talking about the chopsticks. Right. Um, if yeah. I do not know how to use chopsticks, which, which as I said, was the case when right. I first came out of school, You'll give me a fork too, right? <laughs> we got forks. Okay, cool. right. we got forks. Just checking on and that. And what's the other dish you made? It's a chicken dish. Yes. Tell me about that. Let me try that little yeah. morsel. Oh, go for sure. It. And so, what what is this? Tell me. And the spicy, and spicy this, meal. And this comes under the heading of izakaya. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Because this is this is like what we'd have in the bar. And so izakaya yeah. is like a small bite. Yeah, what it's does, like small, what's small izakaya, bite. Does it mean izakaya is small bite? I mean, what or. Technically, this, it's a Japanese bar uh-huh. where they usually like to drink and eat small plates. I at the see. Same and time. so this is what's traditionally served in an izakaya, small right. bar plate. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe a little fattier than some right. of the other yeah. options. Yeah, a little yeah, fattier. Okay. You know, you're drinking little, oh. it. Uh, yeah. Look at that. That's stuff, stunning. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use my fingers, America. So don't, <laughs> don't, don't criticize. Oh, <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. I'll go. I'll go there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a little sake, a little chicken. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, we, now, who who is this young fel- fellow we got right here? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually my nephew, Edmund. Oh, he's precious. <laughs> yep, he was taking picture with uh, our big ramen challenge. Uh-huh. Hey, that's me. Hey, there's oh, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> there's Lee. That's how you eat ramen, Lee. Yeah. I forgot I took that picture. <laughs> I, uh, I actually hit your Facebook page and I just I grabbed a bunch of pictures and, and oh, threw yeah. them in the computer for the TV show. 